Hey everyone, boy, mental health sure has been in the news a lot these last few days. I thought I'd change it up and, and share with you a few thoughts on it. You know, part of the reason some of us are connected here on Facebook is because you we met up when I was doing my one year 1000 challenge, which was in essence my own personal journey back to finding happy. After the suicide of a close friend and the sudden death of my father, I found myself in a really dark place where I was struggling. Struggling to be happy, struggling to find my smile, struggling just to look on the bright side of life. And when I set out to do the 1000 challenge, I did it because I wanted to find and create happiness again for myself, but I also wanted to inspire others to do the same for themselves. Now, fast forward to today. I think that mental health is tragically one of the things that is not talked about enough. And when it is talked about, it's often in a form of debate and we're really fired up about it, but we're not actually giving some tangible steps or tools or things that we can do to help enhance our health, our mental health for us. So I wanted to give you a few right now. If we look at emotion in its simplest form is just energy, right? It's energy that needs to be expended. It needs to go somewhere. We either express our emotion or we depress it. I often use the example when talking to clients about stuffing a trash can. You can only stuff a trash can and keep pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down for so long until this trash starts to overflow and spills onto the floor. Well, if that emotion, that, that hard emotion that we're holding on, we're bearing inside of us, we get to a point where capacity it starts to spill over and permeate our system, which is why we must express it. A few ways to express it. Number one, exercise. Physical intense exercise is so invaluable for allowing you to just process out emotion. What it does at the very least is it gives you a space of freedom in your head where you're not having to think all those thoughts that are stirring around and causing so much of the angst and, and hardship. But it just allows you to, and it allows you to come away with a win too. Right? It allows you to feel in that moment, feel something other than the negative feelings you're feeling. Number two, crying. Sometimes we just need to cry, and I really think that tears are one of our greatest gifts because they're an actual modality of physically expressing. Right? We all feel better after we cry. Heck, just a couple weeks ago, I had this sadness, and I could feel it just pent up right here, and I knew I needed to cry. I can't always cry and come command. So what I'll do is I'll go onto YouTube and find a movie clip that I know is going to, to spur tears. And this time it was Field of Dreams. And I had a really intense cry for a couple minutes, but I felt better afterwards because I could tell there was this emotion that I need to physically express. I need to allow it out of my body because if I held on to it, I was going to continue down that path of sadness. Number three, have some people in your life that you can, you can verbally express what you're feeling to. One of the hardest things with when we're when we're in here and we're feeling these emotions that are so self-deprecating and, and, and heavy is we'll we'll have these voices in our head that are telling us that we're crazy to be feeling this way, that we we we're stupid, that we're worthless, that the world would be better off without us, that we're a waste of space, that we're nuts, you know, whatever it is. Any of you have been there before, you know some how ruthless some of those voices can be. One of the greatest gifts you will ever give yourself is the gift of being able to verbally express what's going on in here and in here to another human being and have them look you in the eyes and not from a place of judgment, from a place of love and to validate that you're not crazy, that you're just feeling what you're feeling. If you don't have those people in your life, find them. They are out there. Reach out to them, connect with them, talk with them. I promise you it will be one of the greatest gifts you'll ever give yourself. And last but not least, I encourage all of you to spend a couple minutes to get clear on some of the things that make you happy. There is little pieces of joy sprinkled throughout each of our lives, and we may not be aware of them, especially when we're on these voices that are going around and running amok, which is why it's imperative to have a happy list. Five or ten things that you know that will make you smile, bring joy to your heart, put, a, put laughter in your, in your, inside of you. Right, Whether it's going to a clip on YouTube, whether it's calling somebody up who you know is good for a laugh, whether it's going for a run, whether it's going out in nature and taking photos, that's one of my go-tos. The reason the physical list is so important is because we all know that when those voices start running amok, they can be so gosh darn convincing that it is near, damn near impossible to get out of them. But having a physical list in front of us that we can look at and say, oh yeah, that's right, I can do this. It could be a really powerful resource to help you shift and give you some space to express what's going on. Because we remember what we don't express, we start to depress. And if we keep depressing over and over again, it's eventually that energy starts to run amok and our system starts to get toxic. And pretty soon things escalate very quickly. So anyways, I hope this helps. Sending lots of love to you. And if you're in a place where you need to express to someone, please don't hesitate to reach out. Reach out to myself. There's lots of resources out there. Whether professional, find friends. There's groups on Facebook. All sorts of things.
the important thing is, is just to know that you're not alone and that there's people that love you and I'm sending my love to you. 